What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez, back with another Prize Picks video for you. Today is Sunday, February 19th, 2023. We're talking about college basketball player props over on Prize Picks. I have a couple of plays that I like. I'll share with you why I like them. I also have a couple of plays that I like, but that are a little riskier to me. I'll share with you why they're a little riskier. And then from there, you can do whatever you wish with these plays. But as always, I hope this video finds you doing well and in good spirits. And without further ado, let's get this going. We're starting off at the uh, we're starting off with the UNC NC State game. Uh, super high total here, but uh, I'm looking at Armando Backett over 29 and a half PRA. Uh, a couple of things stood out to me in this game. Number one, 152 points are expected to be scored in this game. I think the line even bumped up to 153, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of points are expected in this game. Armando Backett is the best player on this UNC team. And uh, because the NC State interior is a little inferior, I expect them to feed him the ball early. I expect him to get a bunch of boards. And I just expect his, you know, fingerprints, footprints all over this game. Uh, especially knowing that the that the Tar Heels are only shooting 31% from the field or 31% of the team from behind the arc. So they're not hitting a lot of threes. And um, yeah, you're not going to beat this NC, NC State team by missing a lot of shots, right? So I feel like this is the game where they kind of get back to what they know can work, and that's feeding, you know, feeding this guy the ball. So I like him over his PRA of 29 and a half. If you want to take a look at what his PRA five game log looks like, it doesn't look the best, I admit. It doesn't look the best, but in a lot of these games, he's right there. I'm looking at the game environment, I'm looking at the pace of play, and I'm looking at the um, like the total here. And just the, the pieces that are around him aren't getting it done. So I just feel like this is a great opportunity for him to put up 30 plus PRA. So I'm gonna go over on that. I'm gonna go over on that prop for Armando Backett. I I slightly like his his teammate Caleb Love. This is a bit of a riskier play for me. Uh, this is one of the risky plays I'm telling you about. Is uh, Caleb Love over his PRA? Now his five game log looks amazing. Four out of his last five. His points his points look really good as well. We go on over to his points, and we can see that over his last five games, he's hit this in four out of five. So why is this why is this risky in my opinion? Well, I'll show you why this is a little uh, a little riskier for me because his um, his game log versus his um, his game log versus his game log you know like versus um, this NC State team is a little different and um, against. Against NC State last game, he put up 21 PRA. And today we need him to give us 23 and a half PRA, right? So his game log looked look real good, four out of his last five games. But versus this NC State team, who is a very good team this season, um, it doesn't look as good, right? When you look at his uh, home, or excuse me, when you look at his away game split versus his NC State game splits, uh, they're fairly similar. And so I, I think this is a bit of a riskier play because he doesn't have the best track record against NC State. And on, you know, in away games, I mean, he's going to give you three, uh, you know, three, six. If he gives you 16 points, that's 22 PRA. It's not quite enough to get over his 23 and a half PRA line today. But man, looking at that five game log, it's very tempting to go over on this because he's capable of it. And being that this is only a two point spread, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's a little bit of a riskier play. You don't have to play this play. I'm a little bit, I'm more confident in Armando Backett putting up his 30 PRA than I am in Caleb Williams putting up his 24 PRA. But I wanted to throw that out there as well as a slightly uh, risky play for you all. Next play I wanna talk about that to me is not risky is Eric Hunter Jr. Uh, this Butler-Georgetown game only has a five point spread. Butler's favored by five at home. 
But Hunter is averaging 24 PRA versus Georgetown this season. I also like his fantasy because he's going to chip in with steals. I think he's giving you he's giving you um, two steals per game. So his fantasy score is not listed. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Fantasy score is listed here. Uh, his PRA is listed here. So I like his fantasy score and I like his PRA. Those fantasy points add up, especially when you are, you know, when you're racking up steals. So his game, his game log, it, it does look a little ugly. Now you're not going to see a lot of double digit scoring outputs from this kid, but he does, he just does enough like across the board to get you over his fantasy score, right? So like four rebounds, four assists, two steals, seven points, something like that is totally in play. You're not always going to get 20 points from him or, you know, 15 points from this guy. But at the end of at the end of the game, you start adding it all up, and those steals start to come in and, and play a big part in his fantasy score. So, I do like his fantasy score slightly over his PRA because what he lacks in points, he can make up for it in his steals. And so that's something that really stood out to me, and um, I think that makes him in play for the over on his 18.1 fantasy score. And then last play, I want to talk about. A little bit of a riskier play, Braden Smith, freshman guard for the Purdue Boilermakers over his 19 and a half PRA. Now, the reason I think this is risky is he doesn't always put up these types of numbers, and he just had a strong, strong game versus Ohio State the last time these two teams played, and it just makes his stats look a lot better. So 16, 6, and 4. That's 24 PRA. That, that's well over his 19 and a half prop today. But games being played at home that are not against Ohio State, he's giving you four, four, and nine. Okay, that's only 17 PRA. And so that worries me a little bit, the fact that he's playing, you know, he's just not putting up as much production at home. Looking at the game logs, though, some of these games... Are against teams that uh, are pretty tough right so it's a mixed bag he's a freshman as well so um, he's obviously not at the at the peak at the top of his game right now you know there's a lot of growing for him to do but one thing that stood out to me that you know made me want to talk about him is his minutes played per game over 30 minutes a game as a college freshman and a lot of these games he is taking double digit shot attempts which is very encouraging so if you're on the floor and the coaching staff trusts you enough to, you know, put the ball in your hands and they're giving you green light to shoot, I mean you're gonna you're gonna have multiple opportunities to hit your prop, right? But much like Eric Hunter Jr., he's not always giving you double digit points, but again, giving you those steals and very consistent with his rebounds and assists. So if he gives you at least 10 plus points, I mean he can give you five and five which would give him 19 well, 20 pra but a bit of a bit more of a riskier play in my opinion so I, I like Braden smith um i like his game logs i like the way his stats are shaping up in this game versus ohio state who is having a pretty bad year to be honest with you but i would i would put him and caleb love in that risky category and then eric hunter jr and armando back it uh in my more of a like like more confident pick so those are two uh two plays that i really like as well as two plays that are slightly riskier do with these what you wish if you want to put these three because you well you want to put all four of them in a uh, four pick flex or four pick power you can i'm going to run a couple of two pick powers you know with eric hunter jr and back it and then um run you know run some different ones with uh with Braden Smith and Caleb Love as well. So that's going to do it for today's video. Appreciate you stopping by, checking out the checking this video out. We're talking about college basketball today, not NBA. It still feels a little weird. Still getting used to, to doing college basketball versus NBA, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Let me know in the comments below if you want to keep seeing videos like this while we are uh, void of NBA games until next Thursday. And uh, also let me know who you have your eyes on in terms of college basketball props. Uh, what do you think about my uh, what do you think about my props here? What do you think about these picks? 
like him, love him, hate him? Do you want to leave him alone? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you once again for stopping by the channel, chilling out, talking some college basketball player props to me with me over on Prize Picks. And until the next video, Chavez is 